my name is Pankhani. Um, I'm a student of psychology at IIT Gandhinagar, uh, India. Uh, I'm here at ISHTE working on a project uh, related to color emotions in children. Um, it's a very interesting topic and particularly new for me to work on, uh, firstly because um, this kind of a project is pretty unique. Uh, why is that? Because uh, I need to validate a software. Now, a software, what it does is that it um, looks at a pixel by pixel changing color dynamics in a movie and it predicts what kind of emotions will be elicited in the audience. Now, my job on board is to validate the results of the software, to identify whether the same emotions which are being predicted by the software are actually elicited in children or not. So it's very intriguing, very uh, fascinating for a reason why, because um, working with children is not something I've done before. So uh, it requires a lot of skills for me to um, learn about how to interact with children, how children think, and how the whole cognitive process goes like. So Professor George and his team has developed a software which um, looks at changing color dynamics pixel by pixel in a movie and it predicts that what kind of emotions will be elicited in the audience. Now, uh, my job on, uh, in this project is to validate the results of the software. So looking at really actually uh, whether the emotion, the same emotions which are being predicted by the software are elicited in uh, the audience or not, or particularly in children or not. Now, um, the problem is the project here, it becomes challenging. Why? Because um, in a movie, you, you just don't have colors. You have music, you have story, you have characters, you have lines which interact with each other and creates the whole experience. Now, uh, to solely identify what's the role of the colors in, uh, in the movie, to, in order to elicit the emotions is a little more challenging and it's challenging also in part because we are involving kids in it. Children are really hard subjects. So it is something new. I've learned a lot from this experience. I learned about child psychology which is something I've never imagined to do before. So uh, there are a whole new topics which I've been reading about, learning about. Um, I started um, reading about complexity studies, which is the um, area of Professor George. Professor George teaches complexity studies at Ishte. And uh, I started reading about that and I loved the idea. So yeah, that's from the professional part. Now, um, Lisbon, my experience as a whole in Lisbon was really enlightening, I would say, because um, I learned a lot about myself. I got time for uh, self introspection i got time to think about myself i got time to think about other people um, who are not belonging to my country so lisbon is absolutely photogenic so uh, every angle every street every uh, view it's it's beautiful i mean you see a lot of uh, photographic uh, uh, angles in it frames in it so I, I really enjoy doing photography here. Um, also at hostel where I'm staying right now, I made a lot of friends. So there, that's a truly international hostel. Why? Because there are a lot of people from different um, nationalities interacting with each other. So we are Asians, we are Indians staying there. Then we have um, fr French, we have people from Belgium, we have people from Netherlands, we have people from Spain. Um, people from Italy, I mean, trying on different cuisine, learning about each other's culture and describing your own culture in front of them, clearing out misconceptions, that's been the most exciting part. So um, there are certain stereotypes, certain bias which are uh, associated with each and every nationality. So clearing out those, talking about our culture, cooking food together and uh, sharing food. So that, that was a really fascinating and interesting um, area. I thoroughly enjoyed my experience and uh, these two months were the most happening, the most relaxed, the most uh, rejuvenating months probably in my, this semester.